they were just temporary things. Yes. Right? Yes. Right. And what we must understand is that our current situation is a temporary situation. And yes, sometimes we have to go through it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. But I'm here to tell you that God is faithful in his word. Uh, and his word said that you can do all of it through Christ who strengthens you. You want peace? You got to ask God for it. You want prosperity? You got to ask God for it. If you want more money, you got to ask God for it. Psalms 37 and 3 says, trust in the Lord and do good. Then you would live safely in the land and prosper. I know some people have issues with uh, preachers who preach about prosperity. Come on, man. But the scripture says, and a matter of fact, this prosperity is in the scripture. Yes, it is. But you got to trust and do good and then you will live safe. Hello, what does safe mean? That you have enough resources. Come on now. To take care of your needs. And you also will be prosperous, meaning you have a, uh, some extra. And when you have some extra, that means you can share with some other people. When you have a little extra. But the word says in Psalms 37 3, trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and you will prosper. Prosperity comes from the Lord. But we must be willing to honor him in yeah. all that we do. Because if we honor him in all that we do, mm -hmm. there can be a transformation that takes place in the minds of those who are around us. Yeah. Right. When you look at Paul and Silas on the innermost parts of the jail, there were some other folks who were around, uh -huh. who were fellow jailbirds, who were in there because they had committed a crime. But they found Paul and Silas up in there. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's good to be around the right people. <laughs> All right. All right. At the right time. 